Hey there everyone, Trentia here, and welcome to Dusk. So I got a few things to explain, but we'll we'll do that after we start. We got some business to attend to almost immediately. Foothills, Cerro Miedo, it's essentially ultra-violence. Non-10 for a first playthrough? I don't think so. Let's do it. Water bottle, don't sass me. Man, this game better cool down with the particle effects. Wallpaper engine users may, may be slightly jealous. Kill the intruder. Alright, so I did not just have a failed recording of this, uh, where I spent most of my time in the options menu fixing settings because I thought I had booted this game up uh, since I reset my Windows 10 installation. Okay, look, you guys need to get out of the way. Thank you. <laughs> yes, welcome to Dusk. Uh, I slightly altered the brightness, so I hope that when it gets out on YouTube, it won't be abysmal. So yeah, uh, this is a uh, mostly blind playthrough of, of Dusk I'm about to be doing here. I, I have played the first episode quite a bit, and uh, at the very least, I, I know... I know what's up in the first, like, two stages at least. The second stage, especially. Uh, other than that, I've only played, like, I think maybe one or two stages of Episode 2. And I was pretty much just kind of waiting for this game to fully release before I did uh, three videos on it. Playthrough-wise, uh, as we all know, I did do some update video where I played survival mode. But uh, that was pretty much just me being like, oh yeah, here's how we do this. And by that, what I mean by that is I was like, oh yeah, might as well test how it records. Uh, the door is jammed, but it looks rotten, which is relevant because then we can just smash it up and loot a treasure chest. Look at that, we got 10 morale. I think that's very relevant to my current situation. Speaking of my current situation, Sacrifice. yeah, I mentioned uh, I had some stuff I need to talk about. And the beauty of doing a game like this as opposed to like Borderlands 2, right? Is that I can just chit chat the day away. Oh, hey, I want this. Now I'm gonna chit chat the day away. I uh, don't have, really have to wait for any exposition or whatever. So I'm currently recording this uh, basically 12 hours before I have to work. How funny is that, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm about to basically start working full time for about a month. Maybe. That's the plan, anyways. Although, uh, I'm slightly confused because, you know, this week I have 40 hours, which is, you know, full time. Standard. Uh, but then next week I only have 18 hours. I don't really know what's up with that. Um, this wall texture looks displaced. Maybe I'm just. I was gonna say. Alright, so I didn't know about this. Okay, well, I guess this Oh, yeah. I need to flip the switch that was somewhere in the back of this. Oh, no. I'm going to ruin this pickup I just got. Well, whatever. I killed two chainsaw guys. That's basically good enough for me. Hey, but I only have, like, 18 hours next week, so, like, I don't know if that's a mistake on, on uh, my boss's part there or, or what. But, you know, that's whatever. Ow. Uh, but more non-personal stuff. Well, actually, I will do one more thing. Uh, I, I finally beat Devil May Cry 5 the other night. That was that was a fun time. Uh, I, I see. It was funny because I mentioned at some point I had, like planned on maybe doing like a full series playthrough just to get myself caught up for Devil May Cry 5. Well, I didn't even do that personally. <laughs> so I, I kind of just watched the history of DMC video that was. On the on the game, and uh, I gotta say the pre-order bonus was absolutely worth it because seeing those uh, live action like pre-visual cutscenes was hilarious. Uh, speaking of also hilarious, uh, you can flush things down the toilet, just full up. There you go, it's all flushed. Uh, but anyways, onto more channel-related things as I just missed the exit by going the wrong way. 
Hey, okay, I, I said that, uh... I played this a little bit. I don't know all the secrets for these first two stages. The second one, probably. However, or actually, no, holy shit, I got all the secrets and kills. Since, yeah, you saw there at the end there was the, the completionist thing. Uh, there's also ones for, like, not getting hit and whatnot. Yeah, if you open up that hay bale, you get yourself a machine gun. And these two things go very well together. And also, another thing this game lets you do is be cool as shit. Uh, you push R and you do a little flip with your gun. You know, because why reload when you can instead do that? Uh, also, another thing this game does, which I will showcase when I have the leverage to do so, is... Uh, you know what, maybe we can do it. We can just Yeah, you can do flips and shit. But like an unlocked, you know, access to look. So, that can be a whole lot of silliness coming through. Oh, hey, I didn't even see you there, because I'm wind as shit apparently. Sorry, I don't have any uh, ammo. I don't know why I'm trying to use that. Oh no, now I have an odd amount of ammo. Okay, now we're good. See, I can't use my shock, my double barrel, if I have odd numbers of ammo. It, uh, it ruins me, personally. Okay, Jesus, am I, am I done with my rambling? No, I'm not. Uh, so I know I had mentioned, I believe at the end of the Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil video, that I was going to be doing Far Cry 5 and I'd start up Dusk, maybe. Well, there's been a development on that front, and I'm not going to be doing Far Cry 5 at the moment. Uh, I just, uh, I started and I was, you know, it, the videos were good and I was having fun. But man, like the last two videos I tried to record of that, I was just struggling really, really hard with, uh, engaging myself in the actual making a video part of it. Like, I don't know, it just was not going well, so... I'm gonna put that in the wayside for the time being, and uh, maybe I'll revisit that in the future. But unsure as of now. And you know, honestly, a lot of it has to do with the fact that you know, Man Mike Mega and I, uh, we just you know we played through Far Cry New Dawn, which recently came out, and after we finished that, my like interest in Far Cry just dropped right back down to zero, which which happens with Far Cry. Like I, the new game comes out, and I'm like excited. And especially with, like, Far Cry 5 and New Dawn, sees how Mike's and I's schedules were, like, you know, totally lining up. I was like, oh, hell yeah. Like, I need to play more Far Cry. And then my interest just instantly dipped, and it sadly affected that project as a whole. And, you know, as I mentioned a little bit ago, you know, with me basically starting up being full-time, uh, I'm going to attempt to upload... You know, I'm still gonna try to aim for every day. You know, that's just what I like to do. Uh, I think I, I'm gonna save this. Now, yeah, that's one thing right there. You just saw me do some prop jumping. I'll try not to abuse it, but I really like doing that. Uh, I don't think I've actually seen like the last two chapters of episode one here in their entirety because I just jumped over walls. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna try at the very least to aim for a video every other day. Uh, I think it will probably be healthy for me if I allow myself to, you know, how do I put it? Like, you know, I'm always so worried about, bam, I need a video, bam, I need a video. And I think doing a game like Dusk, as compared to Far Cry, is a, is a much better kind of way to go about it for me, because I can just you know, record like two stages and then boom, there you go. That's my video and I'm done. I don't have to like, you know, worry about editing so many, you know, like an hour, two hours of footage and condensing that down, you know? Okay. So this really lets us get the first glimpse into the soundtrack of this game, this section right here. Uh, I, for the life of me, will not try to pronounce the composer's full name, but uh, Andrew H. Uh, he really nails the soundtrack in this game. It's the atmospheric music is very, you know, very good and very creepy when it needs to be. But when it time when the time comes for combat, the tunes are very, 
like it, he, it's it's masterful almost, just how well both styles of it work. Um, it also really works for me because if in a later part of this this game, uh, there's, there's a really tough combat sequence, I know for a fact I can just shut up and let the music talk for me. Okay, so that's them done. Was there a power up on top of this building? I didn't look. And uh, when I edit this video, I'm gonna check to see how bad you can hear my spacebar when I'm jumping. Because if it's bad enough, I will consider changing my jump bind to right mouse. And then just putting zoom or secondary fire on one of my side buttons. Okay. Yeah. It also sucks as trying to do this. I'm trying not to be super loud on my keyboard, even though it's probably gonna happen anyways. Ah, yes. There was a fast fire totem up here. Now, this stage houses a fairly very good secret. And we're about to begin it here soon. So, essentially, we just need to act like we're gonna finish this whole stage. Uh, I believe we're gonna have those creepy crawly things hanging out in here. Yeah. Yeah, these things have a tendency to really just make you jump. You know, I mean, it, right there, you know, if you know they're there, of course you're not going to, but... Uh, they just have that tendency just to pop up. And that noise is very good at making me go, you know? Alright, so I don't know why I went this way, because we really don't... We don't need to be over here. I guess I just wanted to kill that guy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm just being El Stupido. Now we're gonna come over here and grab... I guess we'll just grab this barrel. I'm not gonna explode it, so I, I don't think I'm gonna die. I don't think I've missed anything I need for this. Yeah, if we come over here, yeah, we find a secret. We get a lot of gold coins. Uh, however, if we interact with this square, a hole opens up. We get the Riveter, which I believe is... I don't remember if that's the grenade launcher or not. We'll find out. So over this way, we have the exit to the secret stage, which I will be going down. And over here, we just have a, a few things, nothing you know too particularly important. And we have a teleporter back to the surface. However, there's a basketball here. Now, even though... Whatever is going on here is going on. Uh, we need to find some time to play some hoops. So, we just drop that here. And we can fall down to a hole that unveils Rachel's secret area. So, yeah, we get assault rifle bullets. We get the mortar, the sword, assault rifle, and the crossbow. So, yeah, I mean... It's one of those things where... I don't feel too bad for using that because, like I said... I, I knew a little bit. However, that's about to end uh, after I go back over here. So now that we got everything, we can just hop back over here and I need to turn off Toggle Crouch. Uh, so I guess real quick to so showcase the sword. Um, when you have full health, or at least a hundred or more, uh, you get this charge attack, which is very powerful. Uh, otherwise, you just you know, click, left click, and you will do a slice. And if you're under 100 health, you'll just do that. So, let's head to the secret level. Um, so, just for the sake of transparency, what I'm going to be doing is probably when it comes to uh, episode 2 and 3, I'm going to figure out what stage the secret level is located on, just so I know. Because I, you know, eat. I just want to be able to showcase that, even though, like I said, it's going to be blind by that point. But, I just want to know, just so I can showcase it, and experience it myself. So, man, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, next time we're going through the dim... Slow? Dim slow? Low main? I would like some low, low main noodles. Uh, I guess I'll just title this Let's Play. Let's Plzy. So, yeah. Oh, old save. Oh no. So yeah, that's going to be it for this first episode. Uh, I know I kind of rambled about a bunch of 
unnecessary things or uh, rather irrelevant um i didn't really allow myself time to explain the aesthetic but we'll experience more of the more of that a little bit later so yeah thank you guys for watching and like i said i'm gonna try to target a video at least every other day just because seeing as how i'll be working 40 hours uh you know i'm, I'm just gonna try to, to work on it just to give myself a little bit of time to play this game even if it is in just kind of these bite-sized pieces like this so until next time i'm trentia and you guys have a good day